What's going on guys? I'm your host T and welcome to Megadeth Mondays. Yes. So in these videos, I am going to continue exploring and going down the Megadeth rabbit hole because we're going to be, I'm going to be reacting to songs that are old to you, but new to me. And um, I just wanted to do something special since I kind of kicked off my journey going, getting back into their music and going back down the rabbit hole. Uh, I think last week I started with um, So Far So Good So What? And we did Into the Lungs of Hell and Set the World Afire. And I wanted to go ahead and follow that up with Mary Jane. Now I have heard a good portion of the tracks on this album, but um, there are still a few on here that I wanted to go ahead and finish up. So we're gonna do Mary Jane today and we're going to do some of the follow-up tracks next week. Uh, but what I also want to do on this, this, uh, these videos is I want to do songs that you guys are requesting. So I do have a request this week from uh, John in which he has requested 13. And I believe that's off of their album that was also titled 13. And in between that, we can also talk about some news as far as what's going on with the band and some of the progression that's going on with their new album. Because I know you all have heard some of the rumors that's going on, but we'll get to that later. In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into this track. Uh, I've been very eager to hear this because um, a lot of y'all say that this is one of your favorite tracks. So uh, the song we're going to be checking out right now is Mary Jane off of So Far So Good So What. So let's go. Whoa. <laughs> All right, right off the bat, this this is a very unique track because as you hear like the 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 music start playing, you hear like this weird distorted vocal in my left ear and it almost sounds like if Vic Rattlehead was a voice or a character or something like that. That's him talking. But the way this kicks off with the melodies and Dave singing, oh man, that's crazy. I've so far I haven't heard him sing like this on any Megadeth album. Let's take this back just a little bit. Very, very unique. All right, so um, something I noticed, aside from the 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 mixing on this, because the mixing on this is is terrible. It's it's worse than uh, some of the mixing that I've heard on the other tracks on this album, uh, because with hook and mouth into the lungs and uh, uh, into the lungs of hell, it's still fairly good. I heard they had issues, but th there's a certain there's certain riffs and a level of scaling that I'm hearing in the backing guitars. No. That it's reminding me of Hangar 18. Um, 
man, I, I wish I was more mu musically inclined because I could explain it better, but I can't. I just, I hear it. But let's continue. Leave it up to Megadeth, always throw in these transitions. This is a true Megadeth song. You know, so many times that you, sometimes you hear the band can experiment with different styles or different rhythms. But like in, in its whole entire essence, this is a true Megadeth song. It just has that ferociousness that you're you're used to hearing when you listen to the band. My only complaint about this song is the mixing. Uh, like I said, the, the mixing on this sounds terrible. And... Uh, I did read that um, uh, I believe they, uh, Dave, he had fired the producer because he had did such a bad job mixing the album. And when they try to go into the studio and, and fix it, he buried everything in under echoes. And I, I didn't hear that in the other tracks that I was listening to. Um, and I, I really didn't think it was that big of an issue when I heard... Uh, some of the other tracks but when i hear this i'm like oh man this almost sounds like a demo like it was a, it, especially the vocal tracks like everything is there as far as it, it being a great track like this is actually the the best track that i've heard so far on this album next to hook and mouth it ranks right up there but uh what kind of did it in for me was the uh the the vocals um or just how it just sounds incomplete. It sounds uh, unfinished. But uh, but yeah, that was that was very interesting because uh, aside from him firing the uh, the producer, uh, I believe they were coming off of terminating uh, Chris Poland and uh, I believe his name was Gar Samuelson, the uh, the drummer from the previous album, Peace Sales. And so it was very interesting because it, it just seems like 
with the production of this album, it was just a very turbulent time for the band. Uh, because as you guys had told me before, in which I, I thought it was Chris Pullen that played on Into the Lungs of Hell, it wasn't. It was the, um, the, the new guitarist, which was Jeff Young. And come to find out, he ended up firing him as well. Uh, he fired Jeff Young, and then I, I believe the other drummer, Chuck, uh, I can't remember his last name, I think it was uh, Beeler or Baylor, uh, he fired him as well. And then that led into the line, lineup of Nick Menza and Marty Friedman for Rust in Peace. One of the interesting things about this band, especially in the, with their journey in their music, is the journey in, into the band members. Like for them to have formed the, the, the lineup that they had when they created the Rust in Peace album. So uh, as I continue my Megadeth journey, exploring their music and learning more about the band, that's something that also fascinates me as well, is the journey that these guys actually had to take in order to get the band where he wanted it to be. So the next song we're going to be checking out is uh, 13. But before that, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the band as far as um, what, what's going on right now. So we all know that uh, Dave Mustaine has terminated Dave Elson for the uh, situation that he has going on. And they're they had they're currently right now they're on the hunt for a basis and so when i was in some of the metal chats and i was talking to some of the guys i was asking them you know who do you think would be a great replacement and i mean th just the list of names was all over the place people were naming talented bass players without keeping in consideration of the type of music that they played like somebody was saying john paul jones from uh led zeppelin we had people that were saying Les Claypool or Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath. One of the things that not many people were keeping in consideration was the type of music that they played already. Yes, they are great bass players, but Megadeth is a thrash metal band, you know? And so then you also have to think about the, um, where those bass players are in their lives. And you have to think about the type of person that Dave Mustaine is and if they could actually work with him. Because I think that for what the band is and how Dave is, he can't just work with anyone. You know what I'm saying? I think that the bass player couldn't have an ego uh, just as big as his because they're definitely going to have problems. And so one of those names that came up was uh, Jason Newstead, in which everybody was talking about Jason Newstead, former uh, uh, Metallica bass player playing in Megadeth and I was like holy shit man that would start so much drama and I, I right off the rip when somebody said that I was like nah that'd be a bad idea and I, I was I saw this interview on Rockfeed where Dave actually said he was like they asked him that was like yo is Jason Newstead gonna be your new bass player and he was like nah it's not happening <laughs> and then he went on to go ahead and, and talk about some other stuff but um uh, another rumor that I seen pop up was uh, them saying that Dave Elson was going to join Metallica. And I was like, how crazy would that be? You know, I was like, nah, that wouldn't be a bit fit either. But then I found an article that said that Michael Anthony, a, uh, uh, a bass player for Van Halen, he was actually, he was brought on board. And so I was like, okay, that's pretty cool because uh, at least we know that he has experience working with David Lee Roth and we all know how he is. And so I think that he would do fairly well working with Dave because we know that Dave, he runs an incredibly tight ship. And um, as long as the professionalism's there, then they should be able to make great music. So uh, guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about that. It, you know, it, it, including um, if you think that there may have been a better choice. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts. So you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the future with 13. This is off of their album, 13. Uh, I haven't heard anything from this album, but uh, let's go ahead and check it out and see what's going on. Now, also, I'm not too familiar who is in this lineup, but I'll go ahead and look it up while we're jamming to the song. Let's go.
times I went to the well to draw my thoughts, I'll gather and tell like bricks that I've laid to build my life. Those that crumble only cost me strife. Thoughts become words cast into the sea, but they returned always haunting me like a severed arm washed up on the shore. I just don't think I can give it. <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm loving like the melodies in this track, but also like how deep and dark and just evil how it feels. I started down this path, fueled with anger, music was my wrath. Years of crying at scars I never healed, drowning my mind, the thoughts are too real. Yeah. How many times do I have to die because I've lived? How many lives do I have to die? Thirteen times and it's been lucky for me. Oh, after everything, you still want me. Hey.
All right, so this is this is very unique. I thoroughly enjoy this track. I love the atmosphere and I love everything that that was like conveyed in this song. And you know, I, for me, I haven't heard Megadeth sound so good since um, Dystopia because the the way my journey kind of went. And this is this is the fans' fault when they when they get at reactors. Um, I started off listening to Rust in Peace. I jumped to Cryptic Writings. I went back to Peace Cells and I did Killing of Well, no, I went back to Peace Cells for like two tracks and then I jumped to Dystopia. And so there was that whole little gap between um, United Abominations, Euthanasia, and uh, some of the other albums that I didn't get to hear. And so hearing this, which is kind of like in the middle or the newer stages of their sound and I can hear that there's a, a clearer emphasis on um, the vocals it's really really cool to me because it's almost like that gritty that dark gritty sound of a, a vocal style of peace cells but his voice is like deeper but the musicianship is just really um, it's it's just really melodic and just top notch. It kind of reminded me of um, Trust from from Cryptic Writings. But also, what I also heard in here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it, but let me see. All right, so it's just like with Mary Jane. It's, it's, there's a certain rhythm and scaling in the song that builds up, it, which is exactly the same as Hangar 18. And I wish I had more time. I would probably go back and pull up Hangar 18, and I would just pull up the part that it has. But uh, if you guys are a fan of this band, then maybe you, you've heard it, and you, you hear it when you're listening to it, and you can leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know if, if you feel me on that, or maybe I'm just crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this and I would love to hear some more tracks off of this album 13. Oh man. But, I, but you know what? I have to finish up, uh, so far so good. So what? Because right now, if I start jumping around again, then I'm just going to get lost in their music. But I, I kind of do want to go in order with this band. Uh, so guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section and you know what? And I'll, I'll, I'll take some requests from you guys. Um, I will be doing another track off of so far, so good. So what next week, and then we'll be following that up with a request from you guys. So, um, yeah, so leave those requests down below and you know, hell, if you guys want to do another track off of 13, we can, or we can jump around and, and we'll just. You know, we'll do something else. But I do want to finish up so far, so good, so what before I um before I completely just diverge off into something else. But anyway, that's gonna be our show for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for our very first Megadeth Mondays. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and make sure you stay tuned for next week where we'll be featuring more awesome Megadeth content. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.